This feels like a season two episode. Welcome to Ranger Reviews, a web series where we look at episodes of the TV show Power Rangers and then discuss them. Today we're exploring the 139th episode of Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, as well as the 27th episode of Season 3 titled Another Brick in the Wall. We begin this episode at the Youth Center where Tommy and Adam are working out while Kat comes up with a model home that she made in her drafting class. It's a design for essentially low-income housing for the people of Angel Grove, and she needs help landscaping, painting, and repairing a wall alongside the back of the house. I somehow don't think they let this teenage girl just build a damn house by herself, but okay. Tommy and Adam agree to help. Rita is watching this and she's super pissed that Kat was once so evil and now she's so ridiculously good. Goldar suggests that she should make a house for Rito so that he can move out, and Zed laughs. And it turns into Rita and Rito versus Zed and Goldar. Rita says that she's going to handle this one. Again. I feel like she's been taking the lead on pretty much every single plan lately. At the Youth Center, Kat divvies up the assignments to people who wear a pink hard hat because of course, and Aisha is pressed that Kat has put so much work into this. Aisha and Billy are going to tackle the wall, and then they all leave, and this is when you see how many freaking people there are helping them. Rita sends down Rito with Babu and Squat. The villains appear spying on the rangers and these extras, and now it's time for the stupidest montage of them cleaning things up. Wait, did this get graffiti since she built it? I don't understand what the hell is happening here. Also, a bulk gets hit into the water. Whatever, everyone cleans up this thing and it looks like Kat did absolutely nothing. Adam invites Kat to come with them to the youth center to get a snack, but Kat is going to stay back and take photos for her scrapbook. She said she'll be fine because she'll be protected by Bulk and Skull. Then Rito and the Tangas appear, scaring Bulk and Skull away, and they start destroying everything that the people just did. Ninja Ranger power now! Seriously, this entire episode is apparently about Kat's plants getting destroyed for no reason. Anyways, Kat calls for help via Zordon, who then beeps the other rangers and updates them. Ninja Ranger power now! Again! They all fly in and they do battle with the Tangas and Rito pretty easily. Zed says that he's not shocked that Rita's brother sucks, so she starts firing a cat, creating a new monster, the Brick Bully. Also, there was no graffiti on that wall a second ago. He then starts tossing laser bombs at them, causing explosions around the rangers. Also, no one has said that his name is the Brick Bully, everyone just keeps calling him a Brick Bully. Whatever, it's morphin' time. The six rangers try to fight off the monster, but they're getting pushed back. Then the Brick Bully turns Aisha and Adam into color-coded pieces of drywall? Then he gets Tommy and Rocky. Billy and Kat pick up the others and they retreat to the command center. At the command center, Alpha says that they're allegedly bricks, and we get to see Catherine for the first time in her ranger suit helmetless. According to Alpha, the rangers are just miniaturized and encased in bricks. Billy says they should look at erosion as an answer because they need to find ways to cause building materials to decay. Again, if they're miniature and inside a brick, I mean, they're already dead guys, but okay. Then Kat says that bricks are very susceptible to pollution, saying that they just need to pollute the bricks, I guess. I don't know. Everyone is pulling random science out of their ass. Zoran encourages this for some reason, and Billy says he'll work on a device with Alpha, but then the alarms go off, and they see that as the brick bully eats the construction site equipment, he's getting stronger, apparently. I mean, he's changed form. He tells Kat to help Alpha, and he's going to go fight the monster. Now it's Billy versus the superpowered brick bully. When did this become a Blue Ranger episode? Then Billy tells them to follow him, running through the gaping wall. Bulk and Skull come back in and Stone demands answers about what happened. They tell him the truth about the Tangas and the monster, but Stone says to just get things back to the way they were. Like, that's super easy. Bulk and Skull are walking down the street and they find the Blue Ranger and the Brick Bully fighting in the middle of the street. Bulk and Skull ask how this is possible, but then Rito appears behind them, explaining that Rita did it. They freak out and run away. Now the Brick Bully is firing rogue bricks at the Blue Ranger, but then Billy asks how the Brick Bully is feeling, pretty much. Turns out the monster is a lot weaker now because he hasn't eaten recently or something? Rita gets pissed and she makes the monster grow giant. Billy calls out his Shogun Zord. Right away, the Shogun Zord is encased in brick walls, taking damage. At the command center, Cat and Alpha are launching their simulated pollution, and of course, it works. So, Cat is the smart one now? I'm really confused. Whatever, Billy is apparently just totally fine now and he gestures at the monster a lot needlessly before he just destroys the monster... somehow? Billy teleports back to the command center and he and Kat cross their fingers as the other rangers come back to life. Zordon thanks Kat for handling things well under pressure, and then Kat says how it's actually thanks to Billy. So whose episode is this? On the moon, Zed is mad because once again all the villains suck and Rita is pissed too. At the humanitarian housing project, 
here's an event where Kat is going to be honored by the mayor for her work. Stone shows up and he's confused as to why the event hasn't started yet. Then Bulk and Skull come in with an old lady saying that they found this old lady sneaking around, probably stealing stuff. Turns out it really is the mayor. Stone is obviously pissed and he walks away with Bulk and Skull screaming about how he's going to make them wash a lot of cars. Then the mayor gives Kat a golden shovel? Is that what her big honor was? That blows. Over the credits, we see a cutscene of Kat tricking Bulk and Skull who are sleeping at the construction site to put on buckets of stuff instead of their hats. This episode is one of the weakest that we've had in such a long time. It feels like it was slapped together last second and they didn't know how to make the footage work even a little bit. It starts as being about Cat, but it somehow ends up being about Billy defeating the monster, and yet Cat is now super brainy? It was such a nothing episode that didn't feel like there was any effort. It was just confusing. Also, again, no one ever mentioned that this monster was named Brick Bully. They just kept calling him that like it was just a random observation, and it was so strange. Other than that, I just hope that the next episode gets us back on track for the awesomeness that has been Season 3. Until next time, though, may the power of rejection.